If we could stare at a patch of sky for 10,000 years, we'd see that the stars don't stay still. It's a bit like watching a pot of boiling water, or the Brownian motion of any kind of particle suspended in a gas or a liquid, or the moiling, churning, granular look of the surface of the sun. Astrophysicists recently discovered that about a third of the stars in our Milky Way galaxy have migrated very far from their birthplaces. Using the Apache Point Observatory's Galactic Evolution Explorer spectrograph to profile the chemical signatures of 146,000 stars over a three-year period, the scientists worked out which stars were most highly evolved. You see, as stars grow older, they create and concentrate heavy elements in their cores. After a star dies, these heavier elements are incorporated into successive generations of later stars. Now, some parts of our galaxy have many more stellar nurseries than others. In these regions, star formation happens more often. So the researchers were able to map provinces where later generations of stars were created. Then they looked at the chemical signatures of individual stars to measure the relative abundance of heavy elements. From that, they could deduce where a star was born and how far it must have traveled from its birthplace, as depicted in this beautiful animation by Skyworks Digital. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody, and if you have a question about this, tweet me at DavidSkyBrody.